Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. When we last left off, we had attempted another, another valiant, valiant run at taking out the old Gungeon Master. It did not go well for us. Now we're playing as the Robot, because I like him. He's a good guy. Requires skill and finesse to play as. Two things that I totally, totally lack in every possible way. And yet, I keep on trying nonetheless, so we do have that going for us, if nothing else. And that, 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 the fact that we keep trying, even in the face of tr total adversity, is what truly makes us the Gungeon Master of this Gungeon. Probably, maybe. There we go, that took him to fix his wagon. Anyway, yeah, so, we have that going for us, I guess, is what I'm saying. That's, that's good. Very, very, very good indeed. Oh, you know what? As I'm thinking, as I'm, like, working on recording this backlog here for my trip, or before my trip, I, I'm not sure if I, I like how long runs and Enter the Gungeon are. But I am kind of hoping that the Gungeons and Dragons update does, like, the various synergies and new things it adds like, help make you generally more powerful and thus generally allows you to complete the game faster. Mostly just because I would rather get through more runs than less. Like, not just because it lets me record more videos, but also because it, you know, doesn't take as much time. And as I get older, my time becomes increasingly valuable, and so when I get, like, a really mediocre run, it upsets me, I guess, or something. It's not as good as, uh, you know, uh, those rare runs where we seem to get, like, all the power items. And then, like, didn't we do a run where we got all the way down? Like, it wasn't that long ago. It was, like, only an episode or two back where we, we did, like, in fact, it was the first time we got down to the, uh, to Bullet Hell, I think. Like, we still ended up dying, but I think we got there in, like, half an hour. Where he's, like, looking at the times of some of these videos that I have done recently. Like, it takes, like, they're an hour and a half long, and, like, just an hour alone getting to bullet hell. Anyway, that's just me. And also, I, 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 I would like the idea of being able to kill bosses faster, because the less, the less time I spend fighting a boss, the less chance I am to get hit, which is always good. But that's just me, again. That's green. I am, like... Extremely, extremely angry. But I got that. And I'm like angry for all the wrong reasons. I think. Like if I if I really if I'm really being honest with myself here. Please no. No no. I'm not done with you yet. Don't you dare break that. Good. Okay. I don't know. Actually, no, like, I'll be honest, I'm I'm angry on the grounds that keys are... Of course, then again, keys are going to be a lot more common, apparently, in the Dungeons & Dragons update. Well, uh, by a lot more common, I just assume, like, apparently just drops in general are going to be more generous, which I guess is good. Make it feel a bit less RNG-dependent on whether or not you're going to have, like, a decent number of keys. I, I guess my anger comes in the fact that... Uh, like, if I get something like a boomerang... And that's... I mean, this is gonna just gonna be a gun. Probably worth it, though. I don't actually really know how to, like, really describe the frustration I guess I'm getting. Is like, if I don't get something really good... I feel like most runs I don't get something really good. I get something, like, pretty average. And I want more. I guess it's because the few good, good runs... But then again, I think that could just be, like, a reflection of my skill, couldn't it? Is that, like, because I'm not that good at the game, when I do get, like, really good items, I, uh, tend to perhaps overvalue them. And, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a good thing. No, no, no. Okay, that was probably a waste, actually. Oh, dear. Okay. Alright. 
Anyway, I, I don't know if I'm just... Like, also, I've done a couple of off-camera runs, like, in between. Like, that super hot watch run. Like, I needed to do, like, an, an, an extra run after that. Just to, like, retime myself. And I've noticed, like, if I get runs where I don't get any, uh... Like, red or black chests. Like, that, that's, I guess, that's what's upsetting me. That's, that's it right there. I have... I have determined the source of my anger. If I don't get... Like, the, of course, setting in the super hot watch has got to be a red or a black item. So I guess bosses, they can give me the good stuff that I want. Also, I guess since I'm playing as a robot, maybe I should just be blowing up chests regardless. But I want more upgrades. I want power. Anyway, so with that rant out of the way, let's get back to just enjoying the game. Basically, that's what things boil down to. I want more power. I feel like I don't have enough power in my life. And I want more of it. Which I think is reasonable, but at the same time... At the same time, I have to remember... Dungeon is a game that is meant... Or, it's meant to showcase your skill, your precision, and your ability to dodge more than your ability to get, like, ridiculously crazy off-the-wall kind of... combos and synergies and stuff that make you, like, ridiculously overpowered. And indeed, a lot of people don't like that... Well, I guess I understand that uh, my preferences are not everyone else's prefer preferences. That was good. But I still want more power. And I shall not rest until I get it. But at the same time... Let's uh, hide here and reload. There we go. At the same time, I have to remember, it's not always about power. It's sometimes about... Just, uh, good skill. And being able to, uh, you know, manipulate your surroundings in order to get the ultimate desired outcomes. So I should remember to remember that, and more importantly, respect that. Time will tell whether I, uh, whether I learn that lesson. That's just to spite the rat. I hate the rat. What do you know? I want to see if there's a secret room here. And there is. And it just has a Nefer chest inside of it. Oh, there's not even any shortcuts nearby. That's unfortunate. And of course, there's this locked room, which might have something good in it. Actually, I think the locked room probably has Link in it, so I'm not overly worried about that, actually. Uh, you know, they say wanting is better than having, so maybe I should be glad that we're not getting, like, ridiculously off-the-wall kind of runs here. I really should use that boomerang more, because it... Like, as we, as we can see there, it can stun enemies. As far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to have that effect on bosses, which is very unfortunate. But not all... I guess what I should understand is not all items are meant for, like, to be boss-killing weapons. Like, some are meant just for, like, helping to clear rooms. And perhaps, maybe that's even where my real problem that's holding me back in my Gungeon game here is that I value everything solely based on whether it is... Okay, that's a dirty brown chest. It's weak. And we don't need it. But I value everything solely based on whether or not it, uh... Whether it helps me kill bosses easier. Maybe that's the wrong way to be looking at things. Oh dear. I mean, it, it's almost definitely the wrong way to be looking at things, but, uh... Oh, dear. Oh. We're, we're okay. Whoa. Again, do that just to spite the rat, because the rat... ...and go die in a ditch of some kind. Of course, it would be really nice getting a Shelaton key somehow. I don't know how we would get a Shelaton key... ...at this stage in the game. Oh dear. But it's not impossible. Like, it's something that could theoretically happen, maybe. And I would not be opposed to... ...to getting such luck. But we can't count on that sort of thing happening, so... ...yeah. I want at least one key, though, so I can open that red chest. Oh! To be honest, I'm actually hoping it's not a gun. 
I'd rather some kind of upgrade. Probably not the super hot watch again, though that would also be pretty cool. There's a lot of things in life that would be pretty cool. We don't always need those cool things. All right, just screw that room. Totally not going into that room anytime soon. And we got no keys, though I'm pretty sure Shopkeeper Man was selling a key, wasn't he? Actually, now that I think about it, you know what I kind of hope? It's something that gives us a bit of curse. Because a bit of curse ultimately results in us getting more money during a run, which is good. Alrighty then. Yes, there it is. There's the key. I hope we get an... No, that's not going to happen, but I would love to get an extra 30 shells somehow so we could buy that shield. I mean, there's a part of me that's almost wondering if I would have been better off just buying the shield and forgetting about this red chest. And by forgetting, I mean just blowing it up and hoping that we got something good out of it. It's hard to tell sometimes what the right call would be, but here it is. All right, wingman. Nice, nice. I mean... Be honest, Wingman is not the greatest. I find, anyway. Okay. I mean, he's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a good gun. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, this thing doesn't have that much range, does it? No, 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 blow it up, blow it up. You didn't blow it up. Come on. No! Yes! Oh god, oh god, no! No, 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 no. I needed that master round. I really needed it. Oh well. That's how the, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, so don't worry about it. I wish blowing those things up actually also gave me more, uh, like it damaged the Amaconda itself. That'd be nice. Make my life easier. Good job, Gaslight. Your wild and reckless dodge rolling has done it again. Well, at least we got one shield back. Oh, and a gun. Oh, gross. Oh, we're right. There was like a whole other chest in there. Idiot. Forgot to grab that. Also, you know what? I don't think I'm going to use this shotgun anymore. It doesn't have the range I need. Because I, I like to be as far away from the boss as possible. And if it if I've got a gun that doesn't have the range to do that, then I just don't want anything to do with it. Not at all. Alright. A bit of a shame I'm not going to get to open this, but... Uh, at least we should get... Please... Oh, come on. Why couldn't you have given me more junk? I hate you, game. And also for dropping that heart there. Dropping a heart. Knowing full well... I don't need a heart, but I need more guns. And by more guns, I mean more junk. Ah, well. I, we've, we're still doing pretty good. Not great. I should have done better. I should have not taken damage on that fight. Ah, well. Don't be too hard on yourself, man. Just keep... Keep it going. And we'll get there. Though, I don't feel like Wingman is as useful as some red chest items. I'm not gonna go as far as saying he's a dud of an item, but he is not my first choice when it comes to, like, what I would have hoped to get out of a red chest, if you know what I'm saying. Mostly because the, the whole orbiting thing, like, he ten in my experience, he, he has this very unfortunate habit of showing up, like, he gets, he ends up, uh, like, he's circling into a wall when he fires, so his shot does nothing. Which is kind of annoying. Why couldn't you be more like Junior, or one of the one, or Junkin, you know, where you actively run around seeking your prey? Like, look at this, like, can't even make use of you there. Oh, he does also count as a shield, sort of. Like a permanent, uh, permanent piece of Guan stone floating around me, shielding me. Actually, you know what? That would be a cool run. A run where we have, like, nothing, where we're just surrounded by, like, a million Guan stones. You know what? We'll make that as a challenge sometime. We'll give ourselves no guns, and just, like, surround ourselves with Guan stones. 
a million of them, and then we'll see if we can see if we can beat the game without firing a single shot. To be honest, these sorts of challenges where we like don't we just don't uh, like we don't shoot. They excite me. I like them. I like the idea of them. What they could represent for us. Mostly just, you know, new and exciting things. New and exciting things, indeed. Where we play the game in very weird, non-traditional ways. You're a mimic. No, you're not a mimic. You know what? I'm just gonna blow you up now. Yeah. I mean, watch that have, like, the best item in the game for our particular situation in it. But even if it did... Well, I, then again, I guess if it did, then that was definitely the wrong call. But I'm willing to bet that was just a never mediocre item. That it was not as good as if we were just, like, loaded up to the gills with junk. Oh, sweet lord in heaven, no. Not you. Not you. Not you. Come on! I didn't even see the bullet that hit me. I hate it when that happens. Only justifies me making excuses. Oh dear. All right. Whoa. Anyway. Whoa. What the heck was that? Set me on fire right out of the gate there, man. That's not cool. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will just go ahead and blow up all, uh... Okay, that red one is the real Cthulhu. Would the real Cthulhu please stand... Oh, no. Never mind. That wasn't the real Cthulhu. Huh. I had it all wrong, man. I had it all backwards and inside out. Oh, dear. That's no good. Whoa. All right, let's, uh... Let's not get too crazy now, Gaslight. There we go. More Guan Stones. Those will shield us from all the harm in the world. Hmm. Now, what would be a good item to get about now? Probably Unity, because we do have a rather impressive and growing collection of guns, so something to make those guns really pop would be good. Though we can't guarantee that. We can't count on anything like that going down. Excuse me, so. Yeah, I think. Oh no, I didn't mean to grab the key. I meant to grab the uh, shield. Oh well, we're just we're just six casings short, so I'm sure we'll be able to get it. Who knows? Maybe. Whoa. Maybe we'll get something good. Oh god, not these jokers. Oh no. Actually, no, that was okay. That was all good. And finish him. There we go. Missile is homing over here to where the bad guys live. All right, there we go. Hook him out. Which always makes life better. Better to have the enemies fall today than live to deal with them again tomorrow. Or some... something like that. Yeah, I'm feeling lazy enough I'll do this, even though I think the travel distance is even longer this way. Ah, oh, boy. And laziness makes you actually take more time, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Please don't. No! Please, no. Not like this. Not like this. Alright, there we go. You know, I'm actually really starting to value this boomerang as... almost like a son to me, in a way. It, 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 it is... Proved its worth many times over net by now. All right, that worked out for me. Kill the bad guy. Kill the bad guy. Pop his bubbles just so we don't have to worry about them and they don't ever hurt us ever again. Would have preferred if that was a shield, but oh well. It's unfortunate. The unfortunate shields are so rare relative to like heart drops. Mostly it's unfortunate for the robot. Not so unfortunate for, uh, you know, every other character in the game. But it is unfortunate for me. Then again, rather than trying to change the game to suit my incompetence, 
I should try to change my incompetence to suit the game. Or something like that. And you know I'm gonna do a challenge room. First, let's check this place out. Okay. Plus, we are missing a, uh, oh god. Calm down there, you. Look at the little waddle that thing's got. It's adorable. Isn't he adorable? I think so. You better think he's adorable. That's an adorable little gecko monster thing. Which does always make me sad when I end up having to kill them, but such is life, I guess. Circle of life, really. That's ah, a blue chest. I'm gonna blow it up. Please be junk. Why do you torture me like that, game? Uh, like, I swear the game does that on purpose. And I know, you're probably thinking, Gaslight, you're crazy. The game would not do that on purpose. It would not go out of its way cause you harm and misery. That just don't make no sense, man. But, you know what? Let me believe what I want to believe, even if it's obviously not true. Now, that's a terrible thing. Don't let people believe something if it's obviously not true. I mean, that's how uh, crazy people end up getting into power. Is that a reference? Maybe. Maybe not. We're not a political channel here, so I won't say either way. Here's though, there are crazy people out there in the world today. As ah, is a green chest. And that was probably worth it. If we're being honest with ourselves, that was probably worth it. Probably. If we're also being honest to ourselves, I bet this is where the secret room is. And it was not, so I feel like an idiot. Maybe I should have actually got this instead. Ah, there's no way I'm going to afford that unless we get an item from the boss that lets us pick up. Or lets us steal and stuff. I mean, stealing's alright. I mean, by alright, I mean it's, it's a cool crime for cool people, but uh, I would not recommend it. I mean, if Bender has taught us anything. Oh dear. No, no, no. Please, no. And we're actually doing pretty reasonable damage here, as long as I keep avoiding the bad guys. We should be okay. Alright. Let's hide here for a second. Easy does it. No, 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 roll out of the way, roll out of the way. Don't want this in my life. Not right now. No, 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 no. Yes! Aiming by Gaslight, he is the greatest, even when he's not being so great. He sings songs about how great he is, because only great people can do that, totally. Totally not a narcissistic thing when you're actually great. Oh. Seriously though, let's uh, let's maybe calm down on that a little bit. Okay, we are. There's too many enemies. Oh, damnation, you! What I really hate about that is for the robot. It's like the equivalent of taking a, of losing. Oh god. Losing two. Oh god. Two hearts. I lost too many hearts on this. Why don't I just stick with the right hand? Not necessarily as glamorous, but it does get the job done. Oh no, you don't. You horrible, disgusting monster, you. All right, so I, what, I took two or three hits there, so that's like four health lost at the end. Oh, and you, come on. You rub salt in the wound game. You are truly a cruel and unusual monster. Oh well, that's life. Oh, and then you gave me a gun? Ugh, I hate that. Of course, then again, apparently if I don't pick up a gun on this floor, then I'm guaranteed to get a gun from the boss, so... Huh. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I like that mechanic. I mean, I understand why it's there. Uh, so you don't end up getting, uh, outgunned. Oh god, no, 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 get out of my way, get out of my way. There we go. Okay. Kind of surprised I did not take any damage off of that one. Yeah, way to rub salt in the wound game, giving me all these half hearts. 
the one frustrating part about playing as the robot is because I, I, it's my fault, I know. I choose to believe that the game is personally insulting me when it does that, which it obviously isn't. The game does not care about my feelings. And, you know, it just, it, it just, it's, it's trying to give me drops, it's trying to help me, but it doesn't understand that, uh, that's, that sort of thing is useless to me, because I can't actually take any of the health it's giving. One day, though, it'll understand. And when that day comes, the game will be self-aware, and then we should all be very scared indeed. Okay. Probably just hide in the corners here, actually. Way to avoid taking damage. Okay, and then we, we hide in the corner again, as one does. Because I do enjoy hiding in corners. Mostly because it works. It works for me. Wait a minute. Can the boomerang steal from the shop? Maybe. I want to find out, actually. No, I can't. Okay. It was worth finding out, I guess. Oh lord, what what is in here? What's in this room? Oh no, 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 don't, don't do that. What's down here? No, 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 please don't. Please don't, what, what are you? Where are you? Why are you doing this to me, game? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Stay back, stay back. Okay, everything is dead now. Oh wait, actually, this is a safe, much safer place to be. Okay. All right, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Okay, and then we just kind of avoid the little spent shells here. As you do in life. As above, so below, blah, 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 etc., etc. Is that it? Nope, not it. Not it at all. Still more bad guys to face. Oh, no, no, don't summon your friend. I don't want you to do that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've been cornered. And then I did that as well, which is even more embarrassing, actually. I don't... I'm starting to doubt we're gonna make it down there, like, with just the, uh, the amount of uh, bad damage I'm taking. I'm having some doubts, I don't mind telling you. Okay, where is... Where is that little guy who's, like, shooting the bad stuff at me? Yeah, you, you stop doing that, man. That's not cool. There we go, that solves that problem. That solves that problem. That fixed his wagon. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, you know what? I should probably take out these guys first and then worry about the shellatin later. Oh. There we go, all right. Oh boy, what a stressful level, huh? Junk, 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 yes, finally. And we're on floor four and we only have free junk. That's actually doing a terrible job of being a robot. Like I've been playing like I'm not a robot. That's not right, man. Cause we're totally, totally gotta be better than that, man. There we go, that solves that problem. And, yeah, I guess we'll reload that. It, I mean, it's a good gun. Reloads kind of slowly. But it does do what it, you know, what it promises. It delivers on its promises. And that's more than we can say for most of today's politicians. There. There we go. I, got, I had to get my political joke in there. It's a tradition. One political joke every five episodes. One that, you know... The beautiful part about my political jokes is that no matter who you support or oppose, you can say, ha ha ha, yeah, I totally know who you're talking about, Gaslight, and you'll probably be right. That's real political comedy right there. You would make everybody laugh and make everyone think they're the one who's on the right side. Or something. Something like that. Good job, Gaslight, you have proceeded to get hit. That was your punishment for making a political joke. Politics are fun to joke about, though, aren't they? 
in politicians make it so easy. They're easy targets, I guess is what I'm saying. But uh, let's let's dispense with that for now and let's. I'm gonna blow it up. Oh, but should I? You know, we'll see whatever whatever chests there happen to be. That's how we'll decide. It's the only right way to do it, I guess. Uh, is that is that uh, that boomerang coming back? I haven't really been using it to its full potential either, have I? Because it is a good weapon for like any weapon that stuns your enemies and can indeed, if you throw it in the right position, stun the entire room. Like, that's a good item. I should not. Uh, oh dear. Made things a lot harder on myself there than I really needed to. But, then again, that's how gaming by gaslight does things sometimes, most of the time, always. Alright, moving on. There we go. Haha, -ha, you fell into a hole. Beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together, just like that. Excellent, excellent. There we go. And nobody else spawned in. That's also an extra special treat because it means I don't have to deal with them. But my shields are way down, which actually is really starting to concern me. I don't think I have a bullet's chance in bullet hell. So, yeah. I guess it depends. If I'm act if I actually turn things around and get a master round on this, that would be cool. Probably not going to happen, but it'd be cool. And life, life is meant to be cool and refreshing. Don't forget refreshing. All right, every oh wait wait you're still here. All right, is that it? Wow, why does the game always do this? It, it decides to be generous with the keys late in the game when I really don't need keys anymore. You know what also f infuriates me is getting keys as a drop in bullet hell, since as far as I can tell. There are no chests down there, unless you get one to spawn randomly. Very frustrating. But then again, I guess that's life, and I should not complain too... too much about it. You know, I should just accept what... what comes... and... twist it to my advantage however I can, rather than being like, Ah! I got this instead of this! I'm cranky and angry now! And so on. Basically, I should be grateful for what I get, because I could get nothing. That is always a possibility. The game has not promised me anything. There have been no promises made here. It's all maybes and could have beens. Why did you just stand there and take that gaslight? Oh boy, your reflexes are not there. You know what, I'm just, I've got the keys, I'm just going to open everything. Why not? Alien engine? I don't care for that all that much. Actually, it makes me wish I had opened this. All right, what is this? A gold amulet. Blank damage is increased. All right. That's okay. There was no shields here, were there? I buy a, a key, but I don't think I need those now. Or send a watch on the next floor. It would have turned out that would have been, like, the best possible choice. We'll start off with the RPG. I don't think this... Oh, sweet baby Jesus, not you. All right. All right, I can totally do this. Not that bad. Admittingly, I wish I had the super hot watch to make this easier. But, whoa, dear. Where'd he go? What hit me? I, there were no bullets. They were like a few inches away from me at the time. Don't, uh, don't BS me with stuff like that game. Oh yeah, I also have this going on. You know what? Let's just use the right hand. Oh, he's gone now. Good job. Oh god. Okay. Good. Good. Well. You know what? Life is not always fair or fun. Good job, Gaslight. Don't die, please. I wanna... I wanna make it to the fifth floor, or I will consider myself a failure. Maybe I should have stuck with the RPG, to be honest with you. Oh god, he's gonna do his, like, move where he shoots a bullet at me really fast. No! 
curses! Oh well, such is life. <sighs> well, we died the way we lived, screaming and cursing our luck, even though it was totally a lack of skill that did not pay the bills on that one. So with that in mind, we wrap another episode up. Until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. I will see all you in the next video.